Hi everyone, it's Tosin over here. Good day to you wherever you are. Just wanted to have a quick conversation about one of the big stigmas with sickle cell and that is sickle cell patients are antisocial. It was weird for me. I actually went out for a book club with one of my friends and when we were coming back I told her that I was going to Eugene to do a presentation on sickle cell and she's like oh I didn't know you had sickle cell I'm like yeah she's like oh you don't act like other sicklers that I know I have a cousin who had sickle cell and all she wanted to do all day was lay up in the house <sighs> yeah had to take a moment I had to really count to ten <laughs> because this is like a black independent female who I always thought was quite knowledgeable about medical matters and it was really surprising for me to just hear these words come out of her mouth so I took a deep breath and I persuade I, I just decided to do a little education instead of flaying her alive like I probably would have done if I went with my gut reaction so I don't know why people always say that um, sickle cell patients are lazy. I don't know where we got this whole thing from. But for the uneducated, allow me to educate you. And darlings, please play this to all your friends and the people who are closest to you so they can understand what you're going through. Now, people with sickle cell, in addition to having these cells who that have no oxygen carrying capacity whatsoever, the average sickle cell lives for about uh, 8 to 10 days. A normal red blood cell lives for 90 to 120 days. So now when you do have sickle cells in your body, it means that your cells are constantly dying at this rapid rate and your bone marrow is constantly having to replace new cells. Now these new cells that your bone marrow is creating, they get pushed out early. It's kind of like you're not done with college, you're still in you're still in grade school and you're getting pushed out to go to the workforce. It, those are how the cells are. So they they're not as um powerful and as well developed and they're, they don't have as much oxygen carrying capacity, they don't have as much energy giving capacity as normal cells. So on top of this, sickle cell patients have this chronic anemia and most people know that anemia gives fatigue, this tiredness, um, sometimes even headaches and dizziness. If it gets pretty bad, it can even make you um, your system shut down completely. So it's very, 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 I cannot stress this enough, very important that your friends are educated that when you're tired, it's not because you're lazy, <laughs> it's because you have no red blood cells that can give you energy, that are carrying oxygen. You don't have enough red blood cells to go around that can give you this life force that you desperately need. This is why a lot of sickle cell patients, when they do get a blood transfusion, they feel fantastic. I mean, if I get a blood transfusion, I feel like I can conquer the world. I'm like, wow, this is how other people feel all the time? This is great. I feel like the Energizer Bunny. So, um, I hope this helps when you do have a conversation with your friends just to explain, look, the reason I'm bailing out is not because I don't like you, it's not because I don't want to hang out with you, but I'm really, really tired and this is why. I don't have blood cells like you do and you just have to understand that. Alright? Okay. I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you in the next video, uh, probably in a couple of minutes actually. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.